Once again, the highest greeting of praise, thanksgiving, worship, glory, and honor belongs to our loving God alone, our dearest Jesus Christ. And uh, I give a double honor and respect to our dearly beloved honorable pastor, Wilde Strad Almeida. And uh, once again, I welcome to each and every one of us in this special location. Uh, to, to witness when these two devoted hearts are bound together in the holy secret of marriage. So, a pleasant afternoon to the couple, to the respective parents, guests and visitors, a pleasant afternoon to each and every one. So, let me explain what is marriage. So, according to the scriptures, in the book of Genesis, after God created Adam, and placed in a beautiful garden in the den, and God saw it was not good for Adam to live alone. So he needed a suitable companion to share his life. So marriage is the answer of God. So marriage is ordained by God. According to the scriptures, it is ordained by God. It is appointed by God. At the purpose to promote human happiness and holiness. So, According to the scriptures, whosoever findeth a wife, findeth a good thing, and obtain favor from the Lord. Bisa kinsang, nakakita, nakakaplag, kung asawa, nakadawat siyang pabor sa ginoo. Amen. Nakadawat siyang maayong butang sa Diyos. O gingon sa Biblia, riches, wealth, or inher uh, inheritance from the fathers, but the prudent wife is from the Lord. Ang mga bahandi, katigayunan, ato kining uh, mamana sa atong mga ginikanan, aban ang usa ka maayong babae, gikan kini sa Diyos. Amen. So let me explain what is marriage. Your solemn obligation being husband and wife. And according to the scripture, marriage is a sacred matter. It is ordained by God. And marriage, it is a lifetime contract. For the Bible says, What therefore God had joined together, let no man put asunder. In the book of Matthew chapter 19 verse 6, Ang pinagsama ng Diyos, hindi pwedeng paghiwalayin ng tao. So, marriage is a lifetime contract till death. Sabi nga, do as part. Kamatayon lang o kamatayan lang makapaghiwalay sa inyo. So according to scriptures in the book of Ephesians chapter 5, Verse 22, Wife, submit to your husband in everything as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife. Even Christ also is the head of the church. Husband, love your wife. Even Christ also love the church. Babae, pasakop ka sa imong bana. Sama sa ginoo ka nagkapasakop. Huwag bana, igugmao na imong asawa. Sama ni Kristo na igugma sa iglesia. So, maugani ang standard sa Diyos. Love and submission. According to the scriptures, God is God of order. He appointed the husband to be the head of the family. And being the head of the family, the husband has responsibility to provide uh, domestic and spiritual needs of his family. Just like during the days of uh, Noah. During the days of Noah, we read in the Bible, and God saw the wickedness of man is great, and God pronounced judgment upon the world and prepared to destroy it by blood. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. And we know the result of that paper, Noah and his family escaped from the blood because Noah is a righteous, is just, is perfect in his generation. Kinya doon ay kalabutan sa atong pagpuyo ang magtihayon. We have the Bible in your front. The blessed and the successful married life is based on obedience to the Word of God. The Word of God, that's the Bible, allow the Word of God to guide you, to instruct you, and sometimes reprove you. It holds the blueprint of your, of your happiness and salvation. Malaga, importante ang spiritual 
domestic and the spiritual needs of your family. Ikaw ang amahan, ikaw ang padre de familia. Sabi ng Biblia, you are responsible for the spiritual needs of your family. Say to it that the will of the Lord will be done in your family. Kinanglan ang kabubuton sa Diyos matuman sa imong sa imong pamilya. Amen. You are the responsible of the domestic uh, material needs of your family. Say to it, say to it that your family have food, clothing, and shelter. Kinanglan ikaw mag-provide sa mga panginanglan sa imong pamilya. Babae, wife, submit your husband. Respect your husband. Love your husband. Keep yourself only to, her, to, to your husband. Ang pinga ni mo ay mong kaugalingon para lamang sa imong bana. Bana, keep yourself only to your wife. Ang pinga ni mong kaugalingon para lamang sa imong asawa. Kinanglan, ingon sa Biblia, ang kami nyo on, sagrado kini. Wala na'y uyab. Ha? Wala na'y lain. Kamura. So, ingon sa balang kasulatan, She keeps the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Una una to pagpangita ang gingarian sa Dios, ugang yung pagkamat narong anta ng butang igadugang kanatok. Panalanginan kamo sa Dios, beloved brother, Joey and beloved sister Ruth. May the Lord bless you this day. May the Lord bless this marriage. Let's give them a round of applause. Praise the Lord. Amen. So. Wife, submit to your husband. Pasakop ka sa mong bana. The Lord our God, He appoint you. He created a woman to be a good companion for a man. Respect your husband. I repeat. Development a quiet and a gentle spirit. Kana ba nga kinanglan di kita magsigig yaw-yaw sa atong bana. Amen. Amen. Respeto na to atong bana. Bana, igugmaw ang pag-ayo ng imong asawa. Dilitan ng tao, kita gaang asawa. Amen. Gipanalanginan ka mo sa Diyos, Tingad Lawa. Gipanalanginan ka mo sa Diyos. Kamong duwag, iusa sa Diyos. Aron ka mo. May umong usa sa tubangan sa ginoong. Palapakan nato sila. May soon. Praise the Lord. So, akong usbon, respect your husband, love your husband. Develop and acquire any gentle spirit being a good mother and homemaker. Ang pinga nato ang atong pamilya. Ang pinga ninyo yung relasyon. Kining talag sa unang relasyon gihatag sa Dios kaninyo ang pinga niyo kini. Amen. Adunay lalis ginagmay sa magtiayon pero ayo pasagdi nga mulo sa mo salop ang adlaw nga diri mo mag magausay. Murag ang kinabuhing minyo ako I'm, I'm married for 25 years. Mag 25 years years na ako karon. So nakita na ako malipayo ng kinabuhing menyo basta na ang ginoo sentro sa inyong pamilya. Amen. So according to the scriptures and the Bible says that marriage is a sacred matter. Walay divorce sa ato, walay bulag. I've been preaching the gospel. Mamina mahal around the world. Nakita na ako mga tao nga mamina na do they divorce, makaluluoy ang ilang mga anak. So sa ato walay divorce. Amen. Palapakan nato sila, Mike. So on. So may request the couple to please stand up.